Hi, I'm Lacey of Lacey M. Carroll Photography, and today I'm going to be showing you your Pixie Set Gallery. How to view your photos, download your photos, order from the store, as well as favorite photos. So today we're going to be using the beautiful Madison. Um, she purchased a portfolio development package from me, and um, we're going to be using her gallery today as an example. You will receive an email that um, contains a link to your gallery as well as a download pin and a password. All of my galleries are password protected. Um, and I went ahead and skipped that step so uh, we can keep her gallery uh, private for her. However, we are using it as an example today. So when you get it, <clears throat> uh, it will show up just like this and it has a little quick tutorial. Download photos easily and it shows this up here. Next is pick your favorites and buy online. Um, you can also share as well. Uh, so here we are going to the gallery and you will see here uh, the first photo is just one of many. So we're going to be viewing and first I usually tell people go all the way through the gallery from front to back, um, see what you like, and now we're going to start favoriting photos. Usually what I tell people is just start favoriting, don't think about it at first, um, and just do everything that you like, and then we'll narrow it down. So let's go through, and usually what I do is I'll click on the first photo, and I'll just arrow through, okay? So, um, what we're going to do is click this heart up here and it will prompt you to enter your email. Please enter the email that I sent the gallery to. Um, that way you will be able to view any pre-made galleries that I've made in case you've pre-purchased a package that comes with products. If not, it will help you remember what to re-log in back uh, when you get to the gallery again. Um, you can re-log in and see back what you already favorited. So I'm going to enter my own email. And sign in. Okay. So let's go ahead and start favoriting. Okay. The other way you can do it is you can go through and favorite this way. So you just hover over the photo, favorite, hover over the photo, favorite, there we go. Okay. The next thing you do is if you've already done your gallery reveal um, and during our gallery reveal or if you don't have one but you want to order certain products like an accordion album, a canvas, um, you can go in check your favorites and they will all be here and you can also create a new list. So let's create a list called accordion album. Let's also create a list called metal prints. And the other thing I like to do with favorites is um, not everyone, let's say mom is ordering with uh, Madison but they don't agree on a photo. So let's Call this mom's favorites. You can also send these galleries um, and your favorites to different family members um, or in this case for Madison she's with a modeling agency she can send it to her agent and her agent can create favorites as well. I can see all of the favorite activity and um, even when I'm not uh, with you I can see it from the back end of Pixie Set and I can help you narrow down uh, what to order either in digital downloads or products. So let's go ahead and favorite a few more. And once you have multiple folders, you can say, let's say this is mom's favorite. And let's say we also want it for the accordion album. So we can do multiple um, folders for the same image. And so that usually helps, okay? 
there we go. And again, if you want to go through at the end, maybe you're making an album um, and kind of narrow it down, you can go through here and choose from your favorites and add to the accordion album. Okay, so that's how to favorite. And again, when you log back in, make sure that you log back in with your email address and these favorites will come back up. Okay, so let's go to ordering from the store. So we have no items in our shopping cart. What we need to do is figure out what we want. So let's say we want to use one of these as the metal print. So we're just gonna go to the shopping cart. These are gonna come up and we're gonna go straight to metal print. And let's say we want an eight by 10. You'll see here that it shows you where it's going to crop, but we can change that later and I'll show you how to do that. So go ahead and keep shopping. And let's say we wanna do this one as well, but we wanna do an eight by 12 metal print. This one won't cut it off. Okay, now we can go to view cart and you can edit crop and change it the way that you want. Before these get sent to my lab, I always double check them just in case um, because occasionally someone will forget to crop. So let's go ahead and keep shopping and I'll show you here. Um, let's say she wants eight wallets of this and you'll see view cart and what that looks like. Since the wallets come a little rounded on the edges, it has a bigger um, shaded area. So there we go. When you're done, you can go to checkout, enter your information, and it's pretty straightforward from there. You can also apply any coupon or gift card. Um, let's say you pre-purchased a package that comes with um, print credit. That's where you would put your gift card code. And if I'm running a special, um, you would put a coupon code here. All right, so let's go back and talk about downloading. If you wanna download your entire gallery, you can press this button. It has to be at the top of the actual gallery. You will enter your email and enter the um, four digit download pin. So I'm entering my email, and the download pin, and it will say highlights. This is the one I'm doing. Madison um, chose 34 photos from her set to download so that's already there. Um, I'm choosing highlight and then you can choose between web size and high resolution. High resolution are for printing. She purchased a package where she gets printable, um, all of her digital uh, printable size. Web size is for sharing on social media. If you share a high resolution on social media, it will look super grainy and won't be at its best quality. So I highly recommend downloading both and using the web size for uh, social media and for your website. You press start download. You can choose um, these three places to download. I'm just choosing uh, my computer. And you start download and it will prepare your photos. If you have a rather large download, especially for the non-web size, it might take a bit. Just be patient. Um, see, this was pretty quick only because it was the web size, but uh, it can take a while. Just be patient and it will come up. It will be a zip file. You click on this. It goes to your um, download here and it will be in your download folder unless you have uh, designated somewhere else for your downloads to go. And it is a zip file, so you'll have to open it. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to show you is how to download a single image. Some of your galleries will have that option depending on the gallery you purchased. So you can download a single photo and it'll be quicker. Let's say you just want a few for your social media really quickly. You can also do the single photos on your phone because they are all the single photos are the website's resolution. The last thing is you can share uh, you can copy the link directly. You can share on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or an email. Let's say your grandma wants to see the photos or you want to share them with your friends. 
you can just copy that link and uh, send it along that way. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at info at laceyamcarol.com. Thank you so much for choosing me as your photographer, and I hope this helps. Thanks so much.